Hi guys, so it is Birch Box versus Glossy Box again. Um, the months just seem to be rattling past this year and I do not know what's happening. Um, but let's just get into it. Everybody talks about how fast the year's gone. So let's start with Glossy Box and no fancy boxy designs for Glossy Box this month. And the first thing I see is a big sign saying, coming this November. And uh, they have a limited edition one coming out next month. Um, collaboration with Burberry's beauty creative consultant Wendy Rowe. Uh, will include products from Burberry, Sisley, Dick Lior, Sarah Chapman. Well, it's £35, so uh, probably not going to be buying that. I need to save for Christmas presents. So, just the usual cute wrapping. I do always like this, but, you know, sometimes it's nice when it's a, a different colour, it's somehow exciting. Because <laughs> my life is really boring and revolves around the colours of tissue paper. Um, oh, straight away I'm seeing a repeat offender. Um, let's just start with that. The uh, Nux body oil. Um, I've had... I believe this is my second bottle of the shimmer one. I've had two bottles of like the ordinary non-shimmer one. Last month I had... I know I had a shower gel of it last month. I can't remember if it was Glossy Box or Birch Box. But these guys definitely seem to work with both boxes and I get them over and over again. Um, it's got the same smell as the rest of their products. It's a golden shimmer which might be nice for the party season, although I'm not really a gold person, I'm more of a silver, cool tones person. So, to be honest, maybe I'll put this in the giveaway because it is, I've used the plain oil before and it is a nice product. And everything I hear this is a nice product, I'm just never going to use it. So someone might as well enjoy it. So, ooh, okay. That's very interesting. Uh, we have a Premark product. And bizarrely, it's fully packaged as if it's ready to go in the shop, right with the uh, um, price tag and everything. And it's a kind of natural nude coloured pencil um, for contouring lips, brightening eyes or concealing. Now, I am going to bust this open and see if it's even pale enough for me. Ugh. Or I'm not going to bust it open because it doesn't want to open. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is odd because I literally just filmed a video on one of the Premark makeup products um, and it's going up tonight. Now this actually looks like... no it's not. I initially thought this was going to be pale enough for me but it's too dark and then blends away to nothing. So it's not really going to highlight anything. Um, it's not really going to stay dark enough to work as a contour in any way, way shape or form. Um, let's try, I've got a wee, a wee spot here. No, the pigment's just blending away. Hey, mini review. That was unintentional. I got distracted. Um, it's two pounds. Um, this is not going to be good for me either. Um, although I'm realizing there's six products in here, so that's possibly just a bonus one. Is there a bonus one? Oh, I don't know. Right, so this one is um, separate to the rest on the cards. Um, oh, okay. So this is a mystery sample. It's very strange. Um, a new hair hero. Well, I can't let you in on this mystery hair care brand just yet. This shampoo has graced my bathroom shelves for years. And now this classic bestseller has had an update. In fact, it's the brand's biggest breakthrough in 10 years. It's still unbeatable at caring for the scalp, but will also protect the health of, sheer and keep health of hair 
and keep it nourished and shiny. Glossies are getting to try the latest new innovation before anyone else. Give it a go and then visit my blog sdlalonde.com for the big reveal later in the month. Now, I'm kind of going to take a guess from the... Um, Oh no, hang on. I was going to say from the scalp reference it might have been Head and & Shoulders and it's a Procter & Gamble brand. Smell wise it kind of smells like Pantene but we will wait and see. And next, but I've not been doing prices have I? That's awful. Um, so the Primark pencil was £2. The Nux Shimmering Dry Oil is £34 for the full size. And then the shampoo is a mystery, so we're not allowed to know. Um, so next I have a Be Good Honey and Camelina Facial Exfoliator. I have never heard of Camelina and I don't know what it is. Um, no hints on there. Now, ooh, I'm getting confused now because it's saying that it's a mask on the card. Um, this is also a cruelty free brand. It's got the Leaping Bunny and oh, it's an award winner. Um, it doesn't feel like a mask, it does feel more like it's just an, a Cooney exfoliator. Um, and certainly there's nothing about how long to leave it on so yeah I'm just gonna go with it being a wash and it's very floral so if you don't like floral scents this might not be the greatest and the recommended retail price for the full size is £10.50 and next we have I don't know this brand at all Universal Beauty Cosmetics Secret Flush Soothing Cream Blusher and Lip Stain Jewel. Now this reminds me a lot of the Topshop makeup, which I don't buy. Um, but this is in shade 4 Nectar. Ooh. And let's see. So it's a very uh, chunky stick and a very, very pinky coral. Um, not exactly what I would think of for this season, um, but it's definitely pretty. I don't really like sticks this size for... That was weird, something fell in my flat. I don't really like sticks this size for the lips. I just find them awkward to get a good um, outline, but you can always use it in your finger. And the RRP for this is £15. And, do you know, I'm trying to smell it and I know I've got that exfoliant on my hand. It's just got a subtle sweet smell to it. Um, couldn't actually link it to an actual sweet, it's just a sweet smell. <laughs> Sorry! Descriptive powers are failing me today. And then last but not least we have a buttery lip cream lip parfait from Trifle Cosmetics. Okay, and it says exotic fruits on it. I'm going to read the this pretty nude shade is infused with vitamin E to keep lips plumped and hydrated and the pigments are silicon coated so it won't dull or become feathery looking. Glide it straight onto lips for a creamy matte finish. You could also blend it with your UB Secret Flush to amp up the colour. So the RRP for this is £12.95 and it's got a little plastic seal on it but I can't see where to burst it so I've just pulled the thing off anyway. And it is definitely a nude and... That's it beside that other one. So they are kind of the same family. And this doesn't really smell of much at all. Um, I was kind of hoping it was going to be an exotic fruit scent after all the exotic fruits that are pictured on the outside of it. Anyway, so that's Glossy Box. I say we've got a reasonable mixture. We've got some hair, we've got some body, we've got some makeup. Uh, no nail stuff, but whatever. Uh, still a decent mixture. So next we have Birchbox and I am proud to say I have an affiliate link for Birchbox and it will be in the description down below. 
This is a limited edition special design box. I'm gutted because there was two that were dark blue and I really wanted one of those and I've got the green one. But it's still pretty, I like stars. And we're back to the drawer thing again. I don't know if this is just something that Birchbox have decided that they like a bit better. But I do quite like these. They're cute for organising stuff on your desk. So let's see what we've got. So we have, oh, Batiste XXL Volume Spray with Keratin and Inca Inchi Oil. Hmm, to help strengthen and care for your hair. So it says this is an instant back chrome spray. And since my hair is looking rubbish anyway, we might as well play with it. So if I part my hair and... Whoopsie! Okay, that's that's a decent amount of volume, I would say, compared to the other side, which now looks wonky. Um, wee. Um, sorry, I can't stand looking wonky, although I now look Halloween-y because I've sprayed that way too close to my hair. But it smells nice, it's got a nice fresh scent. Uh, be careful if you have really dark hair, it's very white. But yeah, nice volume, nice smell. I do enjoy that. Um, hmm, okay. Intriguing. And then, I'm, I'm intrigued by what this is because I'm trying to work it out because it's a very small print on a very clear bottle. Uh, Lumiere d'Eva. Uh, restore and repair oil for what? Ah, for your hair. Okay. That doesn't really smell like anything. In fact, it almost just looks like a bottle of water. Um, I'm going to dig out the little booklet to get some some details for prices and things like that. So the RRP on the Batiste is four twenty nine. The RRP on this oil is eighteen pounds. It usually comes in a pump bottle, and it says it will transform dull hair into shiny, sleek strands. Uh, but you do have to use this on wet hair. So unlike the Batiste, we're not going to start chucking that in everywhere. Not a good plan. <laughs> So next we have a Rituals Magic Touch Body Cream. Now, the full size of this is 1950 and it comes in a bigger tub. I've had Rituals creams before. Uh, they're nice. It says Ritual of Sakura, which is cherry blossom. And yeah, so cherry blossom is just a very delicate floral, but also a little bit into fruit because cherry is a fruit, cherry blossom is a blossom. Makes sense to me. Um, but these are a really nice rich cream from what I remember. It's made with organic rice milk and cherry blossom. And I do like the scent of cherry blossom, I have to say. So next we've got a Lord and Berry Maxi Matte Lip Stick Crayon in Intimacy. And the RRP is £12. I have to say, I don't love Lord and Berry. Um, I'm not even going to swatch this because... I just, I just don't like these. They smell like colouring pencils and I can't, I know I can't stand them. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. This I'm very interested in. It's a brand I've never tried before. Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Available from October 23rd to November 28th. What? Why would you only release it for, oh dear. Okay. So it's a vitamin C serum and the RRP for the full size is going to be £47. Um, let's see if this smells of anything. It has a citrus scent which was probably predictable considering it's vitamin C and it's this colour. Um, let's just see what it feels like, if it's an oily serum or a nice light one. So I've got a tiny little pump out there. Oh, it's very light, actually. I really like the feel of that. And the smell. <laughs> I like citrus smells. And last but not least, we have a, a brow comb. Um, this is just a Birchbox exclusive. RRP is $1.99. Um, I have brushes like this already. Um, to be honest with you, I prefer ones where the comb side is straight and metal and I feel like the brush could be a little bit bushier but 
they're always handy to have around. Um, nothing wrong with being able to tame your brows. So let me see. I now need to judge which one I prefer. And mm. oh dear. I'm gonna be honest, I think I prefer my glossy box this month. Um, I like that lipstick, like the facial exfoliator, um, the cream blusher is gonna be pretty. When it comes to the birch box, I do really like the uh, Sakura body lotion. In fact, do you know the more I look at it, the more I'm swinging back to birch box because I'm not really that excited about the mystery shampoo, I'm more intrigued to find out what it is. Um, the Knox body oil, as I said, I've had it before. Um, I don't use it. I know it's not that exciting for me. The facial exfoliator, it's an exfoliator. We'll see if it's a good one. And the secret flush, like I said, it's pretty, but I don't really see it as a kind of this season colour. So, yeah, I'm excited. This is amazing. This is amazing. This smells and feels amazing. And I'm actually running out of hair oil, so... Not the worst thing. So, uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to call it a draw because I'm tired and I don't want to work it out. Um, but if you have any questions or if you want to see which one would have been your favourite out of the two of these, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. And I am now going to go and get my dinner because it's been a long day. I've been at work. This is the second video I've filmed today. And... I will chat to you guys later. Bye guys.